From viewers in this video, we will see the BCD to grey code converter. Subscribe the channel for more videos and notification. Soft copy of this material available in the drive. The link is given in the description box. Now we will go to the topic BCD to grey code converter. We need to convert the BCD code into grey code by using the converter. We need to develop the logic diagram. First, we will see how to convert the BCD to grey code. Let us consider this BCD code 1001001. This is the BCD code. How to convert this grey code? This is the resultant grey code. Write the first digit as it is. Then perform the XOR operation between first and second digit. Write the result as it is. Then perform the operation between second and third digit and write the result. Like that, we need to perform the XR operation between the digits. Then what is the XR operation? We will see what is the XR operation, XR gate. This is a input A and B, output C. Right? So the input A and B having four combinations 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. If it is 0, 0, the output will be 0. 0, 1 means 1. 1, 0 means 1. 1, 1 means 0. So from this truth table, so we can we can say that if the inputs are equal 0 0 or 1 1 means the output is 1 the inputs are different 0 1 or 1 0 means the output will be 1 high right so for the same input the output will be low for different input the output will be high so this is the nature of the xr gate so based on that we can now perform the xr operation right so the bcd code is 1001001 so this one is written as it is for a gray code one is written as it is then perform the xr operation between one and zero one and zero mean different both are different one and zero both the inputs are different so the output will be one then zero zero xr operation between zero zero both are equal means the output will be zero then 0 1 again the inputs are different so that the output will be 1 then 1 0 again the outputs are different so the output will be 1 then 0 0 both the inputs are equal so the output will be 0 0 1 inputs are different so the output will be 1 so this is the process to convert bcd code to gray code right so the resultant gray code is now 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 right so this is the process to convert bcd to gray code right so they are using the xr gate xr gate nature is both the inputs are equal the output is zero both the inputs are different the output will be high so based on that we are performing first digit written as it is first and second digit we are performing the xr gate the resultant we are writing right so based on that we got this so the input code is the bcd code let us consider d0 d1 d2 d3 d0 is the lsb d3 is the msb the output code is nothing but gray code g0 g1 g2 g3 right g0 is the lsb and g3 is the msb right now we'll see the truth table now we'll form the truth table from the truth table we can go for the boolean expression by using the boolean expression we can implement with the logic gates right so well, this is the input code is the bcd code d0 d1 d2 d3 output is the gray code d g0 g1 g2 g3 right so we are taking from 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 1 like that 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 up to 9 here also number is there 1 0 0 1 so up to 9 we consider input is taken from normal bcd code that is every digit is represented by four digits right so so we are having 0 to 9 uh, above 9 is not considered so now this 0 0 is converted into gray code by using the above logic so here also 0 0 0 here 0 0 1 0 0 1 1 we need to perform the uh, uh, bcd we need to convert this bcd into gray code using the above logic now we'll see one example 0 is written as it is 0 to 0 is again 0 only 0 and 1 both are different means 1 1 0 both are different in 1 right so that 0010 bcd code the equivalent gray code is 0010 0, 
1 1 like that the other codes are converted now we got the truth table right we have got the value of g0 g1 g2 g3 so by using the carnap map we need to identify the minimized boolean expression for g0 g1 g2 and g3 see this g0 having 1 2 3 4 5 ones are available g1 1 2 3 4 4 ones are available g2 1 2 3 4 5 6 ones are available the g3 1 2 the two ones are available so based on this value we need to plot the carnap map for these four digits then we need to find the minimized boolean expression now we'll go to the carnap map for a simplified boolean function so first we'll see the g naught right first we'll see the g naught so what is the input input is nothing but bcd code d3 d2 d0 d1 four variables so this is the four variable k map d3 and d2 is represented in the vertical manner d0 and d1 is represented in the horizontal manner d3 d2 having two digits so four combinations are available 0 0 0 1 1 1 1 0 so there is an interchange between third and fourth row similarly d0 d1 having two two digits so we have four four combinations are available 0 0 0 1 1 1 0 right now the inputs are marked so what is this first cell first cell is 0 0 0 0 second cell is 0 0 0 1 now we can mark the 1 in the carnap map for a d for a g0 1 2 3 4 5 ones are available already we discussed in the K, well, the truth table there are five ones are available and also we marked up to 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 are not considered so that is taken as a, a don't care conditions right so using min term these cells are represented as this is 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 this is a main term representation so based on that so this is the 10 this is 11 12 13 this is 14 15 these cells are marked as the don't care conditions right now we'll go for the grouping of the cell so while grouping we can take the we can take it in the account of the don't care condition but it is not necessary to all group all don't care condition if we are needed we can take the don't care condition while grouping so if we are not needed we can leave it as it is so based on that one two three four five ones are available so these three ones along with the don't care condition is grouped together these two ones along with this another two don't care conditions are grouped together right first we will see this grouping so while grouping this four cell we need to refer the corresponding row while referring corresponding row 0 0 cancelled by 1 1 0 1 cancelled by 1 0 so all are got cancelled so only we have to refer the second column so it is available in the second column what is available here 0 1 the first is 0 second is 1 that is first is d0 so the d0 means 0 means d0 dash and 1 means d1 so 0 represented by so d0 dash and d1 d0 dash and d1 right i would refer the second grouping here also we have to refer the corresponding row but corresponding rows are cancel only we have to refer the corresponding column fourth column fourth column is 10 one 10 one means d not d1 dash right d not d1 dash right here what we got d1 d not dash here d1 dash d not so what is this value this is nothing but a xr gate d1 xr of d not so by using the single xr gate we can perform this operation so this expression is equal to the xr gate right now we'll go to the next digit g1 so again it is a eight variable k map d3 d2 d1 d not is the inputs right one two three four there are four ones are available the remaining these six are don't care conditions right so these four ones these four cells are grouped together these two one and these two don't care condition we get taken into account similarly while grouping these two we are taking these two 
the, these two don't care conditions also, right? So the top and bottom cells are grouped together, right? So while grouping four cell, the, we will get the minimized Boolean expression. So that we are taking this don't care condition also into account. So while grouping these four cells, we have to refer the corresponding second row and third row, right? What is available in the second row? 0, 1, 1, 1. This 0 is cancelled by 1. Only this 1 is available. The second digit 1 is available. What is second digit? D2. Second digit is nothing but D2. Similarly, the corresponding first column and second column we have to refer. 0, 0, 0, 1. So, the first digit 0 available in both the column. Here 0 is second digit. Here 0 is available. Here 1 is available. So, the got cancelled. Only the first digit is available. What is first digit? D1. 0 means D1 dash. Right? So, D2, D1 dash. So, we will grouping these four cells. Now, we will group these four cells. So, we have to refer the corresponding first row and last row. What is available in first row? 0, 0. Last row? 1, 0. So, the first digit here 0, here 1. Got cancelled. Second digit is 0. Here also 0. Right? Second digit means D2. 0 means D2 dash. Right? So, corresponding third column and fourth column we have to refer. Third column is 1, 1, here 1, 0. So, the first digit 1 is available in both the column. The second digit here 1, here 0. So, this 1 and 0 got cancelled. So, only the first digit is 1. Right? What is the first digit? D1. So, it is D1. D2 does D1. Right? So, D2, D1 does plus D2 does D1. Again, it is nothing but very equivalent to the X, XR gate. Equivalent to the X, X present is X. E, equivalent to XR gate. So, that D2 XR of D1, right. So, we got the expression for G0 and G1. Now, we will go to G2 and G3. So, for this G, G2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. There are 6 ones are available. We already discussed in the truth table. These 6 are don't care conditions, right. So, while grouping, we are grouping these 8 cells. While grouping 8 cell, the Boolean function will be minimized. We will get the minimized expression. Similarly, these four, these 8 cells are grouped together. I already told this don't care condition while grouping, we can use it. But at the same time, if it is not grouped by the, the don't care conditions are not grouped, that is not a problem, right? So, while grouping 1, we can use this don't care condition. So, based on that, these 8 cells are grouped together and these 8 cells are grouped together. So, first we will consider this 8 cell green color. So, the corresponding second row and third row we have to refer. 0, 1, 1, 1. So, first digit is 0, here 1 got cancelled. Second digit is 1 available in both the call, both the row. What is the second digit? D2. So, it is D2. See, this only one variable we got while grouping 8 cell. If we group 4 cell, we got 2 variables. Right? Grouping of 8 cell, we have only D2. The corresponding columns are got cancelled. 0, 0 cancelled by 1, 1, 1, 0, 1 cancelled by 1, 0. Now, we will we'll see the grouping of these, these 8 cells. Second row, second third row and fourth row. What is available in third row? 1, 1, 1, 0. The first number 1 is available in both. But second number is 1, 0 got cancelled. Only the first number is 1. What is first number? D3. Right? So, it's D3. So, here we have D2 plus DT. We have the simplified expression D2 plus D3. Right? Now, we will go to G3. G3 having only two ones. These six are don't care condition. So, we are grouping all these eight cells. We have to refer the corresponding third row and fourth row. What we discussed similar, same thing. So, the first is, first digit is 1, 1, commonly available. Second digit is 1, 0, got cancelled. What is the first digit? D3, right? Similarly, what we discuss here, same D3. So, G3 equal to D3. Now, we got the minimized Boolean expression for G0, G1, G2 and G3. Now, we will implement this Boolean expression using the logic gate. Now, we will go to the logic gate. So, this is the BCD code. The BCD code D3, D2, D1 and D0, right? So, this is the gray code, output, output gray code, right? So, four inputs are available according to our requirement, we can connect. For G0 and G1, we already discussed, we are having XR gate. By single XR gate, we can get the output gray code of G0 and G1. G0 is nothing but 
D1 XR of D0, right? So we are connected D0 and D1. So we got D1 XR of D0 that is nothing but G0. G1 is D2 XR of D1, D2 and D1. Here D1 and D0, here D1 and D2, right? So the D1 and D2 is connected. So that we got the D2 XR of D1 that is nothing but G1. What is G3? G3 is nothing but D2 plus D, D3. So we are using one R gate to add D2 and D3. So here D3 and D2 is connected. We got D2 plus D3. G3 is nothing but simply D3. So the tapping is taken from D3, right? So this is the BCD code. By using the logic gate, the corresponding inputs are connected. We got the gray code, output gray code based on this expression obtained from the obtained from the K map G0, G1, G2 and G3. So in this video we discuss how to convert BCD code into grey code. What is the logic? Uh, what is the logic we are using? From that we develop the truth table. From the truth table using K map simplified Boolean expression is obtained. That Boolean expression is implemented with the logic gates. Subscribe the channel for more videos and notifications. Soft copy of this material available in the drive. The link is given in the description box. Thank you for listening.